her neighbor discovered her body, an elderly man who had come for her help, as he did regularly. It was later confirmed by the coroner that she died just hours before. Inside the flat, there was no evidence of a break-in or a struggle. Nothing pointed towards foul play. Across the room from her was her phone, propped against the wall. When we opened it a recording, I wished I'd never seen began to play. A young girl with long black hair sat down and began to speak. I was murdered. It sounded like something that an insane person would say, but I knew she was telling the truth. She looked down at her smartwatch after a beeping sound and inhaled deeply as she did. He said his name was Tony Davies, but in all honesty, I couldn't tell you whether that was a lie or not. What I do know to be true is that he's a neurosurgeon. Her watch beeped and she inhaled again, but nothing else happened. I wondered if it was because she was scared that he was around. We'd been on a couple of dates where he'd been a real gentleman every time. He did, however, mention that he despised people that were ungrateful. I thought it was adorable. Another beep and another deep breath. Yesterday we went to his. I'd had a bad shift and was complaining when all of a sudden he snapped. Tears began forming in her eyes. I don't know what happened next. I woke up in my own flat with a tube sticking out of my throat. As soon as I looked at him, he took it out. Her lips began to turn slightly blue in colour as her skin grew paler, yet she carried on talking through her tears. He told me about a part of the brain, medulla I think, which makes our body work. It keeps our blood flowing and our heart beating for us. One thing we take for granted, he said. Laughing, he boasted saying I know how to manipulate it without damaging the skull and it's irreversible. His next words sent chills through me. He said that I should have been more grateful. Another beep made my anxiety rise. She had no colour left now. If I try to run, he will come for my parents. I've tried to fight for as long as possible, but I have no energy left. So I'll say goodbye now. To whoever may watch this, sorry you found me this way. I love my family and her body slumped. Her fight was over now. We sat there deeply saddened and didn't move for a good few minutes. I heard the familiar beeping and took of her watch. There were hundreds of reminders set.